Welcome back, everyone, to the fantastic world of Emacs and other open source technology. Why not? In today's video, I'm going to be talking about something interesting in Emacs. I'm not sure if I would call it a flaw. It's kind of like just how Emacs works, but how it can get sluggish when it's handling large files. I suppose if you're working on a, a, a program that has multiple files with maybe a few hundred lines in each of them, this is probably something you wouldn't really run into. It wouldn't be that big of a deal. But if you're working with large text files that are several megabytes or maybe over a gigabyte, uh, is if you would for any reason, um, you might notice some some sluggishness as Emacs is trying to process this large file. And as I said, I'm not sure if I would call this a flaw. This is just a this is just the nature of how Emacs works, but it creates some unwanted effects. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. Uh, recently, I've been reading through Augustine's Confessions as a research for something I'm writing, and you'll notice as I open this up here, this is uh, automatically opening up in text mode because it's a, a .txt file, so it's programmed to do that. Uh, but now, as I do like a control and arrow down, you see it uh, it works just fine, and I can add a line here just fine. It's, uh, it's quite fast because it's just a text file. This particular file is only about 112,000 words, 112,101. So that is a pretty large file, but we're not talking about anything crazy here. In fact, if we look at it, so it's it's about 590k, so it's it's not quite a megabyte yet. Uh, but if I do a mouse scroll, you see it's it's a little sluggish. This is not um, you can't really tell because you uh, you're not feeling the um, the actual speed of which I'm scrolling. And right now, you see, I'm still scrolling, but it's actually frozen, and um, you can you can't hear, but my laptop fan is going crazy right now. So the, the CPU usage is going up. And as most of you probably know, my, my Emacs users, my audience, you're all intelligent. You know that the way Emacs works is it can do all this amazing processing on text files and org mode and um, the, even the font lock mode and all the things that make Emacs what it is, all that extra functionality. It can do that because it's loading your file into memory and working with it there. It's not working off it right off the disk, as I understand it, as I've been researching this. So that's what it means in Emacs when you open a buffer. It loads the whole thing into memory, and then it can start playing with it and processing it. So you can move things around rapidly and uh, do all the fun stuff in Emacs, all that great functionality in org mode that I talk about on the channel here. And I'm going to go to an even bigger file next. So this is the entire uh, King James Bible in plain text, uh, 4.2 megabytes. So this is a pretty big file. So if I select this one here, as you can see, I can scroll through it pretty good. I have it automatically opening it up in, in fundamental mode, and you can see how much faster it scrolls now because fundamental mode is not going to uh, copy all the contents of the buffer into memory. It's just going to use it as is, as I understand it, as I've been researching this. So this is an option if you want to be able to scroll quickly through a file. And um, I can do a, a, a consult grep and like, look up Moses. And I can very quickly scan through uh, the, you know, the, the entire good book here for these, um, these, these keyword searches for Moses. And you see it's very fast and it's actually jumping through the whole thing. Um, so yeah, um, that works very well. But like I said, this is in fundamental mode. If I load this up in org mode, we'll see. So right now, it hasn't done anything yet, but I'm actually scrolling my mouse down right now. The, the laptop fan is kicking up and nothing is moving, nothing's happening. So you can, you can work in small chunks of your file if you've got org mode or something going, but if you have a, a file this big and Emacs and org mode are, are doing processing on it, you can see it, it just started moving now and I stopped scrolling uh, maybe you know 10 or 20 seconds ago or something like that. So yeah, it's incredibly sluggish. So what does this mean? I don't think it means anything for the majority of Emacs users, but like I said, uh, I use it for writing. So if I was writing a novel, 
and it starts to get over 100,000 words, maybe 200,000. I don't know if I'd ever write anything that long, but if if you're working with like something like a Game of Thrones or like a, like The Stand or something that's a huge chunk of text, you're going to have to you're going to have to think of what uh, your strategy is going to be. I guess you can do it in fundamental mode and you won't notice any performance uh, you know, performance hits. It won't be lagging. The other option I think would be if you were if you're writing something that was getting over you know half a megabyte or over a megabyte which is a lot you could break it up into smaller files if you wanted to use org mode or something like that to organize all of it uh so yeah that is um that is just something worth thinking about as uh you know, if, if you're going to be using something like emacs or org mode for writing a long project it bugs me a little bit knowing that there is this limitation that i have to be careful of and the idea that as i add more and more words to a document if it's in org mode or even text mode, knowing that I'm slowly you know, eating away at my processing power is a little discouraging uh, from writing a longer document to learn more about how Emacs functions and how it works. And I'm sure this would be of no surprise to any of you guys who are very familiar with Emacs, but this is definitely something to consider. All right, well, I'm going to leave the video there. Thank you again for watching. And before I go, obviously, there are different ways of mitigating this. Like I said, the um, uh, fundamental mode is built into Emacs. That'll do well. There is also a package called VLF. I think it stands for Very Large Files, which um, I've heard is another way of mitigating this. So I haven't played around with that uh, functionality very much. Uh, but absolutely, you know, leave me some comments. Tell me what you think. Is this something that you've run into? Is this something that you found is a problem? I know people have talked um, on different channels. I've t heard people talking about how the single threaded nature of Emacs can create a sluggishness like, like this. So yeah, let me know your thoughts. I'm curious to see what you all do in this instance. But anyways, I will go ahead and leave the video there. Thank you everyone for watching. I'll see you all next time.